If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. QuickBooks allows you to choose when you enter credit card charges. You can enter credit card charges incrementally as you make charges to the credit card, or you can enter all credit card charges as lump amounts for each account when you receive the credit card bill. Your choice depends on whether it is better for your business to enter charges incrementally or all at once. One advantage to entering charges incrementally as you charge items is that you can keep close track of how much you owe. In addition, if the charge is made for a particular customer job, you can keep track of how much you are spending on that job. Another advantage of this method is that you can reconcile the charges you entered against the credit card bill when it arrives, which allows you to spot errors and non-authorized charges more easily. To enter credit card charges incrementally as they are incurred, select Banking, Enter Credit Card Charges from the menu bar to display the Enter Credit Card Charges window. In this window, select the credit card account used for the charge from the Credit Card drop-down at the top of the window. To the right of that, ensure that the Purchase slash Charge option button is selected. Note that you can also record refunds or credits to a credit card account by selecting the Refund slash Credit option button if needed. Next, use the Purchased From drop-down to select the name of the vendor from whom you made the purchase. Enter the date of the charge into the Date field. Enter the credit card transaction number into the Reference Number field. Enter the amount of the charge into the Amount field. If desired, you can enter a note about the charge into the Memo field. At the bottom of this window, as in the Write Checks window, you attribute the total amount charged to the relevant account or accounts by selecting an account from the Account column on the Expenses tab. The total amount then appears in the adjacent Amount column. If the charge is for a job, you can select the name of the customer from the Customer Job column and set its billing status within the Billable column. To split the total charge amount between multiple expense accounts, change the amount value shown for the first account row in the Expenses tab, and then repeat the process of selecting accounts and attributing amounts within the following rows in the Expenses tab until you have accounted for the total amount charged. If you use this window for purchasing inventory part items or buying services from subcontractors, do not enter the charge amount in the Amount field at the top of the form. Instead, click the Items tab at the bottom of the window. Then enter the items purchased with the credit card charge, including their quantities and amounts. The sum value of the items purchased will then constitute the total amount of the charge that is entered into the amount field above. After entering the credit card charge information, click the Save and Close button to save the transaction and close the window. After you have input the charge, QuickBooks adds the charge amount to the credit card account's register, increasing the total account liability by the charge amount. It will add the same amount to the associated expense account or accounts once the bill for the credit card is entered or paid. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.